Hello, welcome to CRS and Commentary. I'm your host, Cedric, and uh, these are my thoughts on FTR's future. In general, I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna have to tell you, it's not that bright. Because here's the thing, and this is what Tony Khan needs to listen to. They keep telling the world we're trying to build a legacy. And in order to build a legacy, one, you need to be credible. And they are. They've got everything covered. Proper training. Uh, the ability to always keep learning. Listen to those that's come before you. Listen to those that's paved the path. They watch footage and learn from just like MJF. Same thing. Okay. You need a well-established place to go where you can be remembered, but for the things you want to be remembered for. Your legacy, once you're, once you're dead and gone, that's pretty much all you got. So they, they went WWE, and they, they did, I guess, well or great because the world took notice and Vince McMahon didn't care. Hired him on to, for a lot of money and realized what AEW really was. Cut him off at the knees and said, get on. So they go to AEW because of that whole thing with the, the Young Bucks. Could have had some great matches, but nope. They, they got snubbed. They've been underutilized. Uh, almost, if not for the legacy that they have built thus far, they'd be forgotten. They would be forgotten. So, people love them. They want to see them. But they got to see them in an area where they're having not... What makes a great match is the build-up to that match as well. It's easy for properly trained wrestlers to go in, use the basics, drag out the match, do what they gotta do, hit reasonable looking spots, get some false finishes, get the crowd wowing, and send it home, and, it's, and, and, and everyone's feeling good about what they saw, that's just anybody, any given time. You want to be known for, that's why, that's why people bring up Flair and Steamboat. They'll bring up Flair and Wyndham, a couple of Flair and Sting. Um, they'll bring up people like Wahoo McDaniel, Jerry Lawler and others, and the matches that they've all had, Roddy Piper and almost anybody. They bring that up because those matches, those people knew what to do. They knew how to work. They knew how to read the crowd in real time and change up what they need to change up to get the people going again. Not scripted, rehearsed stuff. It wasn't scripted. They knew what to do. So FTR, they know what to do, but they're working in a generation where people don't know what to do. So where are they gonna go where people know what to do? And have great build up to matches, great title reigns, defenses, or chasing a title. It's not just belts that build a legacy. In general, for those that can remember the Brooklyn Brawler, epic Jabba, right? But he's remembered. And even though he lost all the time, you can't help but be like, I wouldn't mess with that guy, you know, with the way he looked back then. People remember, you know, Barry Horowitz. I, I remember, you know, Sean Waltman as, you know, Lightning Kid, One, Two, Three Kid, The Kid, X Pop, Six Pop, you know, all of that. 
Legacies are built because you have something to do. And they're screaming this at Tony Khan, who is not giving them anything, even though Tony Khan has enough tag teams to build a legacy for a, a lot of people. They can't go to WWE and build a legacy because WWE still doing the whole, hey, you're a great tag team. Now let's cut you off at the knees and or break you up or make some go singles matches for a while. So their future is not that bright. But hold on. There are, you know, wrestling companies being built. Sorry, I'm not speaking as fast as I'd like to right now, but, you know, I'm still in that. I'm, I'm in the late stages of recovery from whatever illness I had, uh, which is why another reason why I'm not doing commentary on CR Fire Pro. FTR is a well oiled machine sitting outside of somebody's yard with the weather messing them up. And every once in a while to see if it works, somebody go outside, press that button and see if it starts up. And when it do, they're like, good. I'm gonna send you away for about a week or two. That's what's happening. These guys can talk, they can wrestle, they can fight. These guys can straight up scrap. They can do the hardcore thing and make it look legit. You know, the only thing they can't do is get respectable work. That's about it. Right now they're making a lot of money, but they're not doing anything that can make a lot of sense. Great match with the Briscoes, right? But why? Why? What escalated up to a dog collar match? Well, you know, it'd be something everybody want to see. So, you know, let's do that. Because, you know, people go wild over that. No. They could have had a regular tag match. Maybe got busted open a little bit. But a regular tag match and still tear the house down. They stole the night. It's, for those that like FTR, I ask this. What do you think? their future is with companies that don't book seriously with companies that if they can book seriously they book people who don't take the business serious so they have to go in and look foolish setting up these contrived spots standing on the floor waiting for a backflip or a, a leap over the ropes you know having to wait for someone to do as many little triple bounces as they can to get to the top before something happens and they got to sit there and wait for it. How can they build a legacy with this? That's what I want. That's what I want y'all to be able to answer if you can, you know, I like some crowd participation here. I want to know what y'all think, you know, and most likely talk about it on the next thing that I do. You know, and I'll let you know in, in certain videos if I'm going to put something on a Spreaker or not, because I haven't been able to talk, so I haven't done anything up on Spreaker, you know, since Final Battle. Final Battle was tough. You know, I'm glad y'all couldn't hear it. I was guzzling warm to hot water. So, you know, <laughs> but yeah, these are my thoughts on FTR's future. And I want to know what your thoughts are. You know, I'm glad everybody's all right. Stay inside if you if you can. Stay warm, warm beverages, warm food, warm blankets out the dryer, and you know enjoy what I call wintermas, which honestly will begin on my co-hostess Cedra's birthday, which is the well winter solstice. So with that, y'all take it easy and be safe. It's been Cedric for CR Wrestling Commentary. My thoughts on FTR's future. See you next time.